What's going on guys? This is my 2024 Papio CL. Uh, we're going to go take it out for a little spin. Um, yeah, I have the Insta360 set up with a GPS remote, so I'll be able to overlay some data on it. I'll try to do, uh, probably get to like zero to a 45 or something like that and see how that goes. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So we just did our 0 to 45 mile an hour test. Uh, results are on the screen. I don't know what they are, but they're not bad. I think I only got into third or maybe fourth gear at the time. Um, everything else felt really good. And then I even tried the ABS out when I did my stops. So that was just full, like full beans stopping on the front and rear brakes. Uh, I only had one instance where the rear locked up just a little bit for a fraction of a second before the ABS checked back in. But yeah, the dual channel ABS on it works pretty good. Um, in an emergency braking situation with good tires and proper roads, you'll stop just fine. Uh, next, there's some speed bumps on the other side of the neighborhood that uh, I'm going to try to get some air on. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, and then I'm going to poorly attempt a wheelie. Uh, I've never tried it on this, and I'm not so good at doing wheelies yet, so the chances are very low <laughs> that a wheelie is going to happen, but I bet someone who has the skills can do a wheelie on this just fine. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, eh. Oh. <laughs> eh. right is my makeup good makeup. <laughs> uh, I hit the speed bumps here I think I caught air a couple times maybe I definitely got the front wheel up in the air uh, in terms of suspension from the factory it does feel surprisingly stiff for what it is I would have thought that being a small bike the suspension would be much softer but actually it's pretty good uh, it's not adjustable up in the front but in the rear uh, you do have preload adjustment, so if you intend on carrying a, a passenger or have luggage back there for an extended amount of time, you could totally adjust the preload on the rear to accommodate. But at 180 pounds uh, for my rider weight, the factory suspension feels fine, and uh, I really didn't feel like I'm lacking anywhere. But also, it's also such a small, fun bike, so uh, yeah. I think you could see in the video, I caught some air a couple times. I think it would be kind of cool to, to watch.
Look at that. Park anywhere you want, basically. Here's a little demo of the maneuverability of the CF Moto Papio CL. So first gear, easy to use the clutch. You can take the time to use the rear brake and feel that out. Uh, you can also work on putting weight on the foot pegs, finding where you want to turn. Oh, that was a little close. Uh, yeah, brakes are really easy to use. If you just want to look where you want to go, that's basically it. Just do, uh, you can do circle drills in parking lots. You can use this to get your license at the DMV test. Uh, here, let's go turn around, let's go turn right. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just riding in first gear. I'm trying to keep the throttle application the same and I'm just using the clutch and the rear brake really to modulate my speed to see where I want to go. But that's basically it, just real easy. And the amount of play, not play, but like the amount of, uh, I would say the amount of uh, feel that the clutch provides, you can really learn how to modulate the clutch that work in that friction zone, you know? So it makes it a uh, real easy to ride. So we just did uh, a little circle drill on the CF Moto Papio CL. Um, I think it's a really good first bike actually. The friction zone and the brakes are really forgiving and easy to modulate. So you can develop a really good base of fundamentals with uh, the clutch control work, doing slow speed drills, like circles or even slaloms and stuff. And then also modulating the brakes. Uh, they're not overpowering at all, so they're very uh, subtle when using it. 
Um, it, I think it's, yeah, I think it works really good for a first beginner bike. Um, and then, yeah, doing slow speed drills, either from beginner or expert, it's really handy. Um, it really builds a foundation of a good baseline of fundamentals. And it's great to keep practicing it. So you can get this as a first bike and then feel like later on you can get, uh, you know, upgrade to a different bike or keep this in the fleet and just keep practicing your fundamentals on it. Um, I think it's a really good choice for that. All right, guys, so that was the Kia Moto Fabio little ride review. I might hit the little slalom, but I got set up, and then I'm going to go see you later. Give me the end of it. Give me the end of it. Huh? Give me the end of it. You walk out to 12 feet, I'll hold the center.